my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, today I am obviously makeupless. That is because I'm going to be giving this a test drive. This is the Match Perfection Foundation from Rimmel London. It's one of their new foundations. It claims to have 24 hour moisture hydration, pore blurring effect. Uh, it says it has an invisible coverage and it has an SPF of 20. So I have picked 200 soft beige. I am also going to be giving their Fix and Protect Primer a go. So that has an SPF of 25. So we'll see how that goes. I am going to apply the base. I mean, th this is what the video is about. It's about these two products here. So I'm going to apply these and I'm going to then go off and do some other videos. And I'm going to come back a little bit later. I'm not going to do the whole eight hours later thing because I don't like to keep makeup on my face for any longer than I have to. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of correcting today because I have had quite a bad cold and I still feel pretty average. So I'm going to be using my Noxa Cover and Correct uh, palette because it has the green and yellow colours in it that I desperately need to cover my redness and bags. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime. So... I am going to apply this with my fingers and I'll let you know how it applies as I'm doing it. I don't think there's any real scent and I really, I'm, I'm a professional girl so I really don't know how much of this to put on. It's very, very liquid. Actually, it does feel kind of like a, um, what's it called? Oh, I can't think what I'm talking about. It feels like a sunblock. That's the consistency. It doesn't feel uh, sort of silicony at all. It feels like I'm putting sunblock on my face. So that's the overall opinion of it so far. It does feel like a sunblock, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> so I'm just rubbing it in the areas that I need to prime, which is pretty much everywhere. So that is the primer. Feels fine, doesn't feel greasy. It's gone into my skin really nicely. I do have an exceptionally dry nose and yeah, feels fine. So that's that. That's the primer. <laughs> I'm going to pop a little bit of the uh, corrections on just to get rid of the redness around my nose, my cheeks, and I'm going to pop a little bit of the yellow one under my eyes. So this is the Inox Inoxa Cover and Correct, as I said, their concealer palette. So this is the first time I've actually used it. So that is what it looks like. So you've got your three corrections at the top and you've got your three concealers at the bottom. When I'm looking off to the side, guys, I've just got a mirror here, so I'm not being rude. I'm just watching what I'm doing. So I'm going to start off with the green. Apparently, it's best to apply with your fingers. So I've got some on my fingers, and I haven't got much, actually, but you get a lot of coverage. So I'm just going to apply it where I need it. <laughs> Gee, I tell you what, I only put a tiny little bit on there, and that's a lot of product. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to sheer that out a bit because I don't want to be too green. So a green, if you're not familiar, a green will colour correct any redness and I have got quite a bit of redness on that cheek and around my nose from being sick. So I'm just shearing that out a bit with the blend, Beauty Blender. And now I'm going to use a tiny little bit of yellow just under my eyes. So you prime first and then you pop this on after your primer, before your foundation. So the yellow will neutralise dark circles or help to neutralise dark circles. So I'm just, just, I'm warming it up with my fingertips. And I am super bleary. This is a good way to test this because I've had a really crappy cold and I haven't had much sleep. So I'm not putting on a whole lot. So that is, it's lightened under my eyes considerably. So that's that. So I am going to pop the foundation on now and let's, yeah. So I'm, as I said, I've got the shade 200, which is soft beige. First thing you should notice about this is it's got a pump, which is freaking amazing. I hate using a foundation without a pump. Not for hygiene reasons. I don't care. The foundation's only ever going to go on me. So I don't care about having the dipping your finger in the bottle thing. I do, however, care that you put too much in your hair and it goes all over the place. The bottle gets messy. So a pump for me is a brilliant thing. So I'm going to apply this with my beauty blender and see how we go. 
So the green, obviously I can still see a little bit of red there, or a lot of red, but we'll see how the foundation sits on top of it. one complete layer it's a very very good match with my skin at the moment it's definitely a summer color for me because it's quite dark compared to some of my winter shades I like the coverage it is clinging around here a little bit and obviously around my nose so this is a really good test to see how it does sit because my skin is very dry and just yuck from being coldy I am going to go in and just add a couple of little bits around my cheeks and actually I might just do the whole thing because this is probably the minimum coverage that I would wear so I would say this is a light to medium so let's see if I can get it to build up layers and it has covered pretty much everything I've still I still can see a little bit of redness there but in all honesty I still have a temperature so I will let that go and it feels comfortable I wouldn't want to build it up any more though because I can see it grabbing across here where I'm a little bit dry it is actually quite quite sort of creaked there but I don't think that's actually necessarily the product I think that's actually me because of the cold so I am going to finish my makeup I'm going to come back and show you what the finish look like looks like and then I'm going to go off and do some more videos and I'll come back a little bit later on just to give you an update so yeah so far so good it's a very very good match color wise for me this at the moment I really do like the color I have built it up to a medium coverage I wouldn't say it's a full coverage by any means but it's quite a good medium coverage so I'm going to do my makeup I'll be back in a sec okay, I'm back and I'm done and I freaking love this lipstick what the lipstick actually is, is a Rimmel. It's a Kate Moss lipstick. That is the lipstick. So I thought I'd just say what else I put on my face. This is 107 and it is the Lasting Finish by Kate. And I want to say, I have got really bad cracked lips, so this is possibly not the best colour. But it almost looks like a matte, but it doesn't say it's a matte. So, or does it say it's a matte? It probably does know me. Hmm. I'll put more details below if I find out anything else, but it definitely is a gorgeous color I love this it's like a deep sort of clarity red so other products I have on my face is just a random very very light swatching I didn't actually put any blush on the brush that I've got I just swiped over and whatever was left on it from my last application is what I've got on my cheeks eyes I have a bit of misty rock from by Terry just sm smudged it on smudged it out really easy to use really quick and easy Another outstanding product that I used is the Super Curler 24 Hour Mascara from Rimmel. So this is another great product and I really like it. It has given me a bit of curl. I don't think it's an overly dramatic mascara, but it's made my lashes look a bit more fluttery and I really like that. So that's it for the video. The foundation is sitting really nicely. I have powdered a little bit. I've put some brightening concealer under my eyes because I am I am still sick and I feel like I look a bit haggard. So <laughs> it is what it is. The foundation has now had probably half an hour to sit and it looks fine. It's quite matte on me. I don't know whether it's supposed to be. I don't think it was supposed to be no, it says it's 24 hour moisture hydration. So we'll see how I go because obviously I, I, I'm not feeling the best. So I'm probably extremely dehydrated, but I like the look of it. Really good color match. My redness is starting to go down. My temperature's gone down a little bit, but yeah, overall I like the color. So I will pop back after I have finished my videos and I'll let you know how I like it. I'm back and it's a lot later than I anticipated. It's almost six hours since I put this on now. 
I really like the foundation. I don't particularly like the way the primer has let the foundation sit around my nose. I never really have pores that you can see. I'm not as keen on this as I am with the professional. Just looking in the mirror, I can see it just, it's almost caked. And it look, it could be the dry skin. I, I, I'll give it another go. I'll give it the benefit, benefit of the doubt. I can see it cakey round here and up through here. So I am dry and dehydrated from the cold. So we'll give the primer another go. I do like the foundation and I want to see how that sits over my professional. I think it's a really nice coverage. It's a really nice colour for me. It's comfortable. I don't feel itchy or irritated. The mascara, I love it. I really love it. It isn't waterproof. And by now, with a normal waterproof mascara, oh, sorry, a normal mascara that isn't waterproof, I would have fallout and I've got nothing. So I really do like that. It has done what it promised for me. It's given me curl. I don't have any curl in my eyelashes at all. They're usually dead straight and bleh, just not nice. And I also think it's given me a bit of volume. I feel like I've got a little bit of flutter. So I really like the mascara. And the lipstick, that wasn't really, I just put the lipstick on. And I really like it. I think the colour's nice. It hasn't, it hasn't worn on evenly. I, I'll have to do it on, a, I'll have to put it on on a day when I haven't been unwell prior to it because my lips are quite dry at the moment and cracked. So not too bad, but it feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's dried my lips out anymore and it's very comfortable to wear. So three out of the four, I really, really like. The primer, eh, I'll give it another go when I have not blown my nose for a week on end and let you know how I go. So guys, I'll pop the products below in the description bar. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, pop them in the comments box and I'll get back to you. And if you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed already, stick around guys, subscribe. I've got giveaways coming up. I've got two or three giveaways coming up really soon and a really cool Christmas giveaway. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.